You've seen Soldier, and you've seen Engineer. I mean, hey, you've even seen Demo Man. But where is Scout? Is he even in the game? Well, turns out he is. Except there are a lot of them in the workshop. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at every single Scout in the workshop and figuring out which one's the best. All right, let's get started. All right, we are on Steam and we are faced with a lot of decisions. Well, like five decisions. Uh, we got Scout TF2, that looks, you know, kind of promising. Then we have Handmade Scout, which has like its own charm. I actually get good feelings about this one. But then we have uh, Scout Screaming Buddy. Now, I, I don't feel too good about that, considering that it has the word screaming in the title and the, uh, the PNG is just kind of stretched nice and wide. Then we have the Scout and graphic design is not this guy's passion, but I'm not roasting, I'm just saying, you know, it, it does make you wonder if there's anything of quality in there. And then we have this one. Uh, not gonna read out that word. This image also does not fill me with a lot of confidence. Let's go ahead and just download all of these and uh, get prepared for what we are about to witness. So we're in game now and you can see here that we have three options to pick from. I think the first one we're gonna check out is Scout TF2. It has probably the most generic picture. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh no, bro. <laughs> this image is actually insane. Okay, we're gonna do it anyway. We're just gonna do it. All right, we're at Walmart and uh, this is Scout. <laughs> he just looks like a PNG. And I, I brought Demo Pan here so you can kind of compare like the art styles and how uh, one is tastefully crafted by pixels. You know, very cool translation to the art style of this game. And then one is just, uh, well, I don't know, screenshots. I don't even know what I'm looking at. But I mean, let's not be too quick to judge, right? Let's maybe there's quality underneath these low quality images, right guys? You never know, man. All right, so here we go. We're gonna, you know, do some jabs, looking normal. Here's an up tilt. Liking the voice lines, down tilt. <laughs> okay, is this the Kazatsky kick, dude? <laughs> That's funny, I like that. Oh my gosh, look at my crouching animation. This is just, this is so dumb, dude. <laughs> this is so stupid. Ooh, wait, okay, this is my forward air. I'm hitting my bat. And that kind of has a ridiculous amount of knockback. I'm not going to lie. That's that's a bit much. My up air is like me using my head. This is my hands. What am I doing? Just going like this. This is an attack apparently. It's just like that. What am I looking at? Hello? Yo. <laughs> Well, dude, all right, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it a pass. It's all good. I respect the vision. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's one move for sure. Oh, this stomp is crazy. Look at my down air, bro. Sheesh. And it's just me, like, is that still Kazaski kick? And then my neutral air is just me spinning. Wait a minute. I recognize that sound effect. Oh, no. Let me press B, please. If it's a projectile, oh, I'm gonna be so mad. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have some bad news for you. We have been duped once again. That's right, we got got. This is nothing but a Sandbert clone. I know. I know, honestly, they hit it pretty well. I couldn't tell for a little bit. Is this a shine? Yep, it's a shine. But they disguised it really well. Like what, what am I looking at? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let me know in the comments, what am I looking at? All right, if I start flying, 1000% Sandbert clone. That's a Sandberg clone right there. What even is this image? It's like a Steam profile picture. All right, well, uh, that was a fun experience with that Scout. Honestly, if I had to give it a rating out of 10, I would give it like a six. 
It could be worse. Like a six is pretty bad, but it was creative enough to almost hide that it's a Sandbrick clone. And that's coming from someone who, who's played a lot of Sandbrick clones. So not too shabby. All right, now we have these two right here and both of their art looks, uh, okay, well this art doesn't look good at all to be honest with you. So let's just do it, handmade scout. Now, like I said, the art's questionable, but we don't, we don't judge a book by its cover on this channel. It could be a hidden gem. All right, now that I'm in game, I I don't know how I feel about this. Like, it's kind of cool. I'm also really slippery. I'm also like, what is this jump? I don't even know how I feel about that. But this is my wave dash. Let's see some basic attacks. Ooh, okay, wait, this is actually surprisingly well animated. I'm kind of surprised. Ooh, okay, look at that. That's my up tilt. My down tilt's a nice little slide. I just, I, I'm not really understanding why I'm so thick you know i just i just want to put it out there that like i acknowledge that i'm thick i don't know why but i am and it's a little different you know scout's kind of a more lanky kind of guy um but hey i mean it's his art right he can do whatever he wants man it's not my art wait my forward air is my scatter gun and this launches me backwards Ooh, okay, nice hit right there. That's not bad. I also want to bring up the fact that like I'm really fast, like Scout should be, and I'm slippery. So I kind of feel like I'm playing Source Engine, but like in this game, you know what I mean? And it, it's kind of beautiful. I'm, I'm a, kind of a fan. One, two, three. Oh, they gave me an extra jump. So in this game, you can jump twice, no matter what, like every character can do that. But the thing that makes Scout special in TF2 is he has an extra jump. So what did they do? They gave him a third jump. And now we're really playing Scout. Attention to detail here is so important. Okay, the wave dash is long. So the movement here, wow, that's that's like Luigi levels of wave dash, honestly. Okay, okay, movement is clean. I just need to put that out there. The movement is crispy, very crispy. Ooh, that down air is kind of nice, like that. Oh, here's my up air, check that out. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that, I'm not gonna lie. And you can like stall your direction in the air with it too. I feel like, wow, okay, okay. Honestly, this scout is off to an incredible start. I'm having a lot of fun. My back air is also my scatter gun. I kind of do it over the shoulder. Ooh, what did I just do? I just threw a baseball and I just threw my cleaver. So I'm assuming this will inflict bleed. Ah, yes. It does fire damage in this game. I'm assuming that mod creator didn't know how to do like a custom bleed thing. So they just decided to put them on fire, you know, being resourceful with the current assets that they had. I like it clean side B is the baseball. There's a little bit of a cooldown on it, but you can just kind of like whack this thing like far. Like this is sick. Down B is me using my scatter gun in the air for an extra recovery. That will put me in fall state though. Oh, but that literally like locks you in real good. Soldier was like stunned. So that was cool. I'm a big fan of that. What's my recovery look like? It's like a double scattergun blast. One, two. Okay, I see you. Not bad. Dude, these aerials are so nice. This character is promising. They have potential. While we're on the character selection screen, we might as well check out the costumes. We got red, blue, green, yellow skin. Is that what SKN is supposed to be? Own. TFC red, Aperture Labs, and then back to default. So some creative costumes. Um, skin is kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna use it, I mean. Oh, this costume is making me uncomfortable, bro. Actually, I'm kind of into it. I, I, I think it's cool, it's creative. You know, it's like, I'm just not wearing a shirt. It's the summer costume, bro, it's, it's the summer skin. So if I charge up my smash attacks, um, nice big bat swing, very good. Up is, ooh, okay, that's like another scattergun blast. That looks really cool, I'm a big fan of that. Down smash is like me spinning in a circle. Okay, fun. And then we should just do shielding and taunting real quick. I just curl into a ball and then my taunt. That's good. Honestly, this scout, 
super fun. I'm going to give it like a 7.5. Like it's great. Like uh, the only thing it's missing is just like it definitely needs to be fleshed out more. But you can tell the person who made this probably didn't have like a lot of like pixel art expertise, but they knew like the fundamentals of making a good character. So they're on to something. They should just collaborate with someone who's really good with art and then they could cook up something incredible. But the moveset's great. It's fun. It's flashy, and we will come back to this. Handmade Scout was created by Mommy Nova, copyright restricted BBB. No idea what that even means, but hey, that's cool. Wait, this guy's kind of humble. My creation is not flawless, so if you want to help a bit, feel free to contact me on Discord, and here's his Discord. All right, guys, don't spam him, but if you have experience in making characters and you want to help out with this Scout, I mean, dude, you could end up creating a really cool character with this guy, so. Just uh, letting you know. We're gonna see just how crazy the combos can get with this dude. I wanna kind of put him in the lab a bit, but let's check out the next scout. Now, before we do that, this would be a great time to let you know that this video is sponsored by Mancode.store. Just like how costumes are cool, so are cosmetics. I think it's one of the coolest parts of TF2. In fact, here are some of the cool outfits I have in the game myself. Pretty drippy, am I right? If you ever wanted to look more dripped out in TF2 and don't know where to start, Manco.store is a great place to start. They have a massive selection of unusual hats and weapon skins that will help you stand out in your lobbies. Their prices are typically way more reasonable than the Steam Marketplace, so you can find some great deals. The store also has a lot of useful features, like being able to send messages to sellers to discuss details about their items or even negotiate a better price. Compare that to the Steam Marketplace, where you can't even look at the profile of who's selling the item. Transactions are super smooth, as they accept most cards, crypto, and PayPal. You also get your items almost instantly after purchase, since they use bots to handle their inventory. I've used their site many times before, and because of that, I was really excited when Manco told me they would be okay with sponsoring a video. So, visit the link on screen, or in the description, to start looking fresh in-game today. All right, here we go. This art has been catching my eye since I got in game and we're loading it up and, and I. Well, it's uh, not as exciting once you click on it now, is it? Anyways, let's just do it. What's the worst that could happen? All right, it's another PNG scout, but hopefully this time not a Sambert clone. Fingers crossed. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, just try to play around with him. Uh, his wave dash looking kind of funky fresh, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, wait a minute. I do like a roll for my dash attack. Wait, this is like the same thing. This is the same thing. Why is it the same thing, bro? Come on. <laughs> No, and this is my forward smash. Oh my goodness, bro. This is my up smash, bro. Did you even try? <laughs> oh no. Honestly though, it is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. This is my down smash, dude. <laughs> Look at this, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> What's my up B? It's even the same sound effect. They didn't even try to like re like they didn't even try to switch it up. They just I mean uh, You know, like I re I had faith, man. I have faith. Why would you use such a cool little piece of pixel art and then put out this? This is dude. Uh, all right. You know, I'm not even upset. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, hacker, do you think? All right, we're done with that. All right, there's still two more things we downloaded, okay? So don't lose hope so quickly, all right? So if we pick any character in the game, we're picking Falco right now. You click the little plus icon in the bottom right. You will now see your buddies. Um, we got great stuff in here, like Final Smash. You know, we like Smash Bros, I think. Um, but uh, now uh, you can see we have um, you know, that scout, still not going to read that word out loud, and scout screaming. So, both kind of seem like they're going to do something similar. Uh, let's go ahead and do scout screaming first. I'm a little scared, but, you know, 
it is what it is. I'm just gonna hop into a normal match and then just kind of see what happens. If I get hit, it just makes the scout screaming sounds. If I hit somebody, it makes the scout screaming sounds. That's... It replaces all of my sound effects with scout screaming. Like, even, like, you don't hear, like, any whoops, whoops, you know, like, hit sounds. It's just scout screaming. Who thought this was going to be a good idea? I need to know. All right, that was uh, unpleasant, to say the least. Uh, now it's time for the uh, thing I won't pronounce. Uh, I feel like this is going to be even worse. In fact, I'm going to take out one headphone, uh, just in case. I do value my ear health. And don't worry, we'll turn it down for you guys. You don't gotta worry about anything. I, I got you guys in the in the post-production. Ah, here we are. Except this time when I get hit, it doesn't do anything. It's only when I perform an action. It's the same thing, except it's a lot louder and you can feel the crunchiness of the audio. I don't even know why I'm entertaining this. I'm turning off the, yeah, that, nope, nope. 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 So yeah, if you ever want to, you know, experience that for yourself, as always, the downloads are in description. I got you guys. Now I want to see like some cool combos we can cook up with Handmade Scout because Handmade Scout's pretty cool. So let's just see what we can do. I want to see if we can beat some basic opponents and then we're going to fight a boss at the end to see just, just what he's capable of. We'll start off with a level nine soldier. I feel like that should uh, be a nice little warm up. All right, here we go. Delfino Plaza. I have speed on my side, so I'm kind of looking forward to what I can do here. Oh, dude, wait, my forward air is kind of nice. Oh, did you see that? I was like sliding while charging my bat. Wait, that, that's actually really cool. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so satisfying. Nice scatter gun, edge guard. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, my recovery is actually kind of terrible. I need to be careful. Oh, wait, is that, was that like a sweet spot scattergun shot? That was pretty good. Let's use more projectiles. I feel like our projectiles are gonna work for us here. He literally shot my baseball with a rocket. I just wanna make sure that you saw that. Oh, we dodge those, we jump over those. We finally got a bleed active. And oh my gosh, this guy was messing with my combos. Okay, wait, this soldier is actually kind of annoying. I want to try something. I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Ooh, wait. Oh, that was clean. I want to know if my scatter gun does bonus damage when he's on fire with his cleaver. Yes, hit by the cleaver. And he KOs me. Oh, dang. It's 1-1 one, one right now. It's anyone's game. This soldier is actually kind of juiced up. I'm also still kind of learning how the character works, but I think the scatter does bonus damage when bro's on fire, because look at that. That's real nice. Is it over for him? He can't come back. Dude, my edge guarding was so good. Oh, and look at his victory screen. I like that. He looks like a prototype, right? Like everything's like blocked out but it's like not finished. I, I like it. I'm actually really a big fan of this scout. I'm happy there's at least one thing of quality in this workshop, you know what I mean? All right, welcome back to everyone's favorite segment on the channel. Okay, but can they be Goku? Dude, there's like some nice echo in this room, sheesh. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be putting scout up against Goku and seeing, you know, if he can take him on. All right, I'm actually gonna probably need to sweat this one out. Otherwise, I'm gonna get completely served up. Oh my gosh, dude. This guy's edge guarding is absolutely phenomenal. I'm done. He even dunked on me. All right, I can dunk too, though. I want to try this out. Oh, that stun is good. Wait a minute. Did you just see what I did? That combo is actually huge. We should try that more often. Is it kind of, it could kind of be used like a shine in like a weird way. Oh my gosh. It's actually kind of goaded. It's a little hard to land, though. I got to be a bit smart with how I time that. Ooh, wait a minute. Never mind. Okay, wait, my jab combo comes out faster than anything ever. We need to really exploit that. Ooh, okay. No, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm so scared though. Oh no, it's over for me, bro. I think, I think this is GG right here, boys. Oh, I'm alive. I'm somehow alive. No. 
Oh my gosh, I got wrecked. Okay, honestly though, like as weird as it sounds, I think this scout does contain small things you can use to actually take out Goku. I'm not skilled enough to do it, but I think the stun and the projectiles are something that's worth checking out 100%. All right, honestly, I really thought there was gonna be a lot more substance amongst all the scouts, but at the end of the day, we found one decent scout. So currently there's no like definitive scout, like there is a definitive engineer or a definitive soldier. If you wanna see more TF2 characters I've covered, I've made full reviews on all the characters, check out the TF2 playlist. If you wanna see any of the other characters you saw in this video, check out the mega playlist. I've reviewed over 300 characters and counting. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.